uh, Pearl Davis, anti-feminist commentator, joins us now. I thought we'd keep on this theme for this hour. And anybody wants to talk about it, we'll do that after, uh, take some calls after, or maybe just before the news. Um, right, welcome, Pearl. I know you've been on lots of other programs, but I don't think we've met before, have we? No, thanks for having me. Well, listen, it's our, our pleasure. Uh, more than a third of young men think feminism has been bad for society. Mm -hmm. What is feminism? Well, I guess when I hear that first, I, I think feminism really is a hate group that wants basically to take money from men and give us all the freedom without any of the responsibility. And I see this in divorce court. You know, that's something feminists really fought hard for. I see this with the useless jobs they give us for diversity and inclusion. And I see this a lot. Um, you and know, you I can get a job purely because you're a woman yeah. and a bloke's got no chance. Well, I found out the other day that I can get, and I'm, I'm excited, I'm applying for mm -hmm. these diversity and inclusion jobs. I've just started <laughs> the, the application process. Oh, yeah. I get paid the same to do that as a fireman. So you could wow. say equal mm. equal work, you know. But if you got one in the <laughs> NHS... Fire person. Oh, yeah, sorry, you can't say fire. Fire them. Huh? A fire, fire person. Them. Oh, fire person? Yeah. Fire them. Because you don't know what gender. Yeah, because we oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that was uh, Matt, our uh, engineer, who actually has made a good point. Very good. Answer, first Matt. time in at least a year. Um, <laughs> or no, first time ever, probably. Um, it is stupid, though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Because men are capable of doing certain things and women are capable of doing certain mm -hmm. things. Some can interchange, but a lot of things men can't do as well as women. Mm -hmm. And I think we have to be honest Name about what? that. Well, I don't think you, you'd be on the front Crochet. line of a war would be great. I wouldn't want to see you. That's because I'm old-fashioned, really. Well, bricklaying, 99... You don't see women going, oh, oh sorry, why I thought... 50% bricklaying? Oh, I misunderstood you. Yeah, I thought, I thought you, I I thought you said around, women... But, I thought you yeah. said women were better at things than men. Yeah. I actually... No, something... Uh, women yeah, are much better crochet. at something. Sorry. Yeah, yeah I mean... I, I can't better. think of anything. She disagrees. Okay, right. Let's. Um... Maybe she's right. Yeah. Actually, now I you could, think about I, it, I think you're right. I actually, I had this thought a while ago, and I was trying to think of anything. And there anytime I'd look up the data, plaiting well, hair. I've, I have over. I've done this fifty years now, mm -hmm. and over that time, the majority of bosses I've worked for mm -hmm. have been women. Mm -hmm. The guys they terrible, I've worked. They're terrible. Bosses, no, they were very good. Mm -hmm. And actually, if you're watching, boss, sack him. It's getting on my <laughs> bloody nerves. And the guys are all, all get a bit sort of, you know, mm -hmm. women are much easier to get on. Maybe it's because I'm just heterosexual, unlike you, mm -hmm. um, that, that yeah. I find it easier to get on okay. with women. Where do people get along better, sorority houses or frat houses? Mm -hmm. So what is a sorority house? <laughs> well, that's because my point that men use violence and women use um, more um, getting your personality ruined in I society. I think women are more violent than men. Now, that's yeah. an interesting point. So, Do you? Yeah, we can't be more violent because we're not capable of it. But when you look at who kills infants and the elderly the most, it's women. Mm. Mm. I mean, that, So yeah, when we, yeah, we, yeah. we get the chance to kill, we do it. Yeah, it can be quite vicious. <laughs> well, they can in an argument, yeah. you know. I, uh, yeah, yeah I, I understand. And uh, then you men will get done, quite rightly, by the way, for beating up a woman. Um, but very seldom does a woman get uh, into trouble for beating up a man. Women are more abusive than men. Uh, when yeah. they looked at most abusive couples are just beating each other, so they just like to, you know, eat, hit each other. So whatever, that's equal. Yeah. Well, but there when are you lots look at of, one, lots of, well, yeah, men are, are more able to physically hurt somebody than a mm -hmm. woman in many cases. In yeah, but when you look at one-sided abuse, um, women are more abusive. So. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, there are abused men. There was a big story a couple of years ago. There's a lot of men who get abused. Yeah, 70% of one-sided um, abuse mm. cases are women. Why do you think divorce should be banned? Because surely you don't want to keep people in a relationship that they hate. Oh, I changed my opinion on this, oh, actually. Good, good. Oh, good. I think that men should be able to divorce women, but women can't divorce men. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, because women divorce for stupid reasons, where men tend to divorce because... Their wife hasn't slept with them in two, three years. Oh, they're so juvenile. Or men, they'll get they? really fat. Yeah, or yeah and women be... go, oh, we left the toilet seat down, and that's used in court these yeah. days. Yeah, really. Is. Yeah, it's um, hang I, on, I interview. I mean, don't you also too. think women shouldn't have the vote? Oh yeah, I don't think we should vote. God, you're a great. Well, should the husband <laughs> decide what they vote? Well, because it used to... a compromise. Let's compromise. So I'll tell you how I. Came... Let's work out why <laughs> yeah. you think so a woman shouldn't vote. If you're if you're listening and you want to talk. Uh, about this call us now zero three four 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 nine nine one thousand would the world be a better place if women didn't have a say 
Well, you know, if we just took women that pay taxes, they're net taxpayers, they're not taking any alimony, child support, um, or they're in an infrastructure job, most women wouldn't vote anyway. I say if we want to be equal, be equal. Be 50% of the military. In the U.S., a men are fined $250,000 if they do not sign up for selective service, which is kind of a modern version of the draft. Ah. So why is it fair that the men and that the men have to sign up for that and the women don't? Well, yeah. well, I do. I mean, Make I'm it not equal. great. Be I'm not, equal. you know, that's America. And let's face it, your country is not doing terribly well at the moment. You've got two geriatrics, oh no, one geriatric uh, who's president and can't remember <laughs> which way is up. Mm. Yeah. And, it's very and, sad, actually, to see that. Well, it is very it? sad. I, yeah. I don't understand why he's, he's a very sick to man, there. obviously. But and, oh my gosh, and if he steps down, we have a woman in charge. No. No. <laughs> well, no. Michelle Obama, they're talking about she might stand. <laughs> hang, hang, hang on. Hang, hang on. Just a minute. We had Margaret Thatcher, who in my mind was the best prime minister we've had probably mm -hmm. since Churchill. Mm -hmm. But she only had men in the cabinet. Well, didn't, didn't she give up a bunch of power from like the royal family? Am I wrong? I don't know much no, about British. No, you've been watching The Crown. No, I, no. I mean, you don't watch The Crown. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a British politics person. Yeah, you know. right. yeah. but, Is it worse in America than Britain? Do you think we are better off as far as our feminist... I nearly called them a cult. You can't call feminism a mm. cult, can you? See, the U.S. is so big that it's tough because I would say it's worse if you go to L.A. Where I'm from, I'd say it's a little bit better, but I'm kind of from, like, country mm. Chicago, so. I know. Nice. I love <laughs> Chicago. Yeah. yeah, but the city's yeah. really liberal, but I'm not from there. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm from, I grew up with, like, chickens and stuff. Yeah. So. Oh, right. Well, so I did you as well, didn't you? <laughs> All right. You used okay. to have chicken and goats. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the fact is, as well, you feel that, that women um, should not actually... Uh, we talked about that. Why do you keep saying things we've talked about? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, haven't we done that? Oh, no. Apparently, the, the uh, producer, Chuck, is very keen on you, uh, which is good and bad, okay? Um, and apparently, it's the woman's fault if a man cheats. Oh, well, a lot of the times in 2024, yeah. Um, because what women do, they this is what they do. They get married. And I interview I interview men that have been divorced, okay? Mm -hmm. And so I hear all these horror stories, and I, and I hear how common this is. They get married. They get the two kids they wanted. They stop sleeping with their husband. Well, okay, if you haven't slept with him in two years, what is a man supposed to do? Yeah. I mean, and then you get mad. Yeah. He screws a stripper. I mean, yeah. I can't be. I, I can't say I didn't see that coming. We well, put it like that. So if you if you if your uh, other half did something like that, how would you react? How would I react? Well, first I would ask, like, did I do anything to contribute to this? Because hmm. a lot of men cheat too, because they have a nagging wife. You know, a lot of men cheat because. You know, their wife is just a nuisance at home. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'd rather he didn't. That's, like, my preference. Do you like the 1950s style housewife at home preparing the cookies and the... Well, the cookies, will you stop? That's what they do in America. They're American. They prepare She's cookies. In England now. Biscuits. <laughs> well, I mean, I think it depends on the couple, you know. Mm -hmm. But I, I think couples or relationships work better where the men lead. That's what I think. But so a man used to be able to earn enough to pay for a whole family. That's not the same. Shouldn't we went yeah. through this whole yeah, thing of, of saying men have been in charge for hundreds and hundreds of years? It's all for for. It's about time we had a rest. As I said before, I, I, mean, I like if, I like a woman telling me what well, to Thatcher do. Thatcher was a, a good well, if, you know. You know, maybe Thatcher was an exception. How to use my yeah. knife and fork? Golda Meir, Lady W is what. You know, I would not. say if overwhelmingly women were good at doing these positions, we would see more women as Fortune mm. 500 CEOs. But don't CEOs. you think because That's men true. actually control most of the companies they always want to see a man in charge no nowadays they get more money if they get a woman in yeah, charge yeah you just want the one who's the best <laughs> and, to make you the most money and they money. can't su get sued for harassment so they're trying to get the women in there we just can't do it they're like please well, there are a lot of good at big executives but yeah in the main it's not but there are women who do as well as men women don't even like women bosses no yeah no, women that's true. like mm. vote that they prefer male bosses yeah, yeah. Well, and men, yeah, men um, also vote that they prefer male bosses. But there are a, there are quite a lot of women who get very upset and very aggressive. And they'll say things like, "Oh, the media, stuff full of men. You can only get a job in the media if you're a man." Well, I right. see a load of people who can't do the job who are females. I shouldn't really go into this, but I do. And I think surely that person cannot be the right one for the job. Ah, but she ticks a few boxes. 
Yeah. No, women have a way easier. I, I'm a woman in media. You have a way easier. I've managed male and female accounts. Managing, I think women yeah. are better at, and being behind the glass mostly better at. Yeah, I don't. But <laughs> <laughs> but I, I have managed YouTube accounts, so yeah. I've done male versus female YouTube. If you're a pretty girl, oh my gosh, it's way easier yeah. in media. You well, have yeah, that is a, a problem for a man who's ex- not. Yeah, yeah, like guys have to build themselves up to like become. What are women better at th- than men? What, what well, that nothing. doesn't go for nothing. Me. I can't think of anything mm-hmm. because they would tell me nurturing. That's always what I would hear, and so then I started looking at stats. You know, if we're so nurturing, why do our kids turn out to be terrible? You know, they turn out to be school shooters, criminals. When we raise kids by ourselves, mm. or when dads raise kids by themselves. The kids turn out fine, like yeah. almost the same. What is this thing called? Body cans? Or? Body count. Body count? <laughs> What's that? That's one of your theories. Oh, it's not my theory. That's no. just, no, I didn't come up with that. But that's just how many, you know, men a woman slept with. So How many is it sort of, just so we know whether we're in the right ballpark or not, I mean, is there an average in a lifetime or not? Well, you, you never know. Women always yeah. lie. You know, I've yeah. heard some some people say it's around 40 to 50. Some say 20. Some say 5 to 8. Would you ask that woman in there, please, to stop shouting? Women shouldn't have I a high care. body count is what you're saying. Well, the outcomes are far worse care. when they do. So the less, the better. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you look at a virgin, they have an 80% chance of a happy marriage, where if they have slept with over five partners, it drops to a 20 mm. to 25%. But would you chance. even know? Uh, <laughs> would you actually know? Would you know? Well, it's because they look elsewhere if they've had some others, whereas if they have one man, they go, oh, well, this is the best. Um, no, I would say yeah. women are, are, like, in order to survive, yeah. women had to hide their, like, past yeah. it, like, you know. Yeah. Is there yeah. something, I don't know, it's an interesting point that you bring up, and I don't know how I'm going to do this, because if you're easily offended, I told you before, you shouldn't watch me or listen. Is it something to do with... Being penetrated or penetrating is that is that? <laughs> it's to do with giving birth because men can, can men, multiple women pregnant, but can, a woman can only there, take there one is, man's there, sperm. Well, sort of penetration is a sort of more. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Well, I'm, it goes I'm, back to mating strategies. Yeah, yeah. That's so better. it's yeah mating <laughs> strategies. <laughs> yeah, because uh, men like want to spread their seed, where mm, women wanna, just w- women want to get the best genetics. So it's interesting because women automatically um, go into polygamy, basically. Yeah. So that, that's the interesting thing because women yeah, some would women rather... don't. Some women are as sexually driven as men. Well, no. So what I'm saying is that women, when left to our own devices, would mm. rather share the top guy. Would that, does yeah. it matter to a woman? I mean, like we dear. have a, a young guy out here who's never really had a sort of relationship with a woman. Um, is, is there a, some women looking around for a virgin or not? No. No. <laughs> no, women are it's not. It's the opposite, isn't women, it? Women prefer men with more experience. Yeah. They prefer men that are older. But it's men, it seems to me, from, from to, it's men who get more upset if they think their, their woman has uh, already been in position of um, sensuality, if you like, uh, with another man, and they get really quite upset about it, where women don't seem to. Yeah, no. I mean, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, but that's what because what because you know yeah. men men have to ensure paternity. There's like biological yeah. reasons why we feel mm. the way we feel. They can't help the way they feel about it. Yeah. And even even now, like paternity test centers, I think one out of three. I don't want to butcher the step. Roughly, no. it's either between ten to thirty percent come back that it's not the father. If your kid doesn't look like you, get a get a yeah, genetic no, well, test. Well, they sh- they should have it at birth. I don't know why they don't. Mm, that's a good you point. Know? And good I point. know people well, that have been put on child support for kids that aren't theirs, and they never have to. The woman never has to pay it back, and sometimes they're put on child support for the rest of the kid's life. Which is fraud, isn't it? Are, it's fraud. fraud. Mm-hmm. Are, are there some women who don't mind that? A lot of men. There are quite a lot of men who think they can have sex. A woman can get pregnant. They can then go. I think that's the exception. It's not mm. the rule. Um, I see when that happens, because I've interviewed a thousand women, and what I found when women are in that position, it's because they were trying to make a man, like, be with them that didn't want to. So they kind of... So what is the point then? Surely we men should be trying to be equal to women. Because quite in what frankly, way? Well, in Why? loads of ways. I mean, we aren't. Oh, you have to, we different, you have to different, apologize you for being a man in certain areas quite often now because... Well, you shouldn't feminism. go in the changing rooms like that. Oh, of course shut you up. <laughs> I mean, it, it is, a, when you say now at the moment, women are in charge, I think. So maybe that's why feminism, you don't no. think so? Actually, they looked at, and I'm trying to 
I wish I brought my phone because I would have read these stats. But when they look at the infrastructure, the power supply, the like, what what do we need to make society run? You need transportation. Mm. You need the internet. You need um, no or no order. It, yeah. it, it, all of those jobs, it's like mm. seventy yeah. to eighty percent men. Yeah. So meaning, if women's jobs went away tomorrow, society would be fine. But if the men went away, would, it'd fall apart. It would fall apart. It's always younger women that seem to be crosser about this than older women, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, well, because older women just tend to be more delusional. They just... Mm. But yeah. young women, they're just influenced, aren't they, by what they see online? Aren't they? I think all women are. How do they become <laughs> delusional? Well, because what, what, they, is, what affects them? I mean, men lie to us all the time. I mean, have you ever lied to a woman to spare her feelings? Oh, oh well, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. not lying, is it? That's, <laughs> that's what my, my wife calls that um, embellishing. <laughs> yeah, so. but reality slaps men in the face. It doesn't slap women in the face. Like, there's no body positivity for men. How can we yeah, true, get yeah. rid of this thing called feminism? Oh, you can't. Good oh, luck. don't say that. I mean, <laughs> but things are ch changing around. Don't you see things are pivoting the younger generation, maybe? Or do you think it's going to get worse? No. I, if I'm being honest... <clears throat> I don't, that's not me, but no. if, I, if I'm if i being honest, mm, I, I just see, I don't see any indication that it's going the other way. Like if you pull with young women, Gen Z, and what they find important, they rank family mm. last mm. and they rank things like traveling mm. or things like... Yeah, experience. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. you know, what is traditionalism? It's family first at its core. Um, listen, uh, this is for Debbie who was in before. Uh, well, I'll answer for Debbie. I've seen Debbie many times speaking on talk. She speaks with dignity, clarity, and sense. What a lovely lady, says Karen. Thank you, uh, Karen. That's about the trans issues. Mm -hmm. And one here that's just come in. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> do you want to read that? This talk, woman man? is talking absolute rubbish. What an absolute test. Yeah, well, I think that's fine. Um, do, I mean, do you is get... it a woman who said... Probably, yeah. How old is she? I don't know. <laughs> do a lot of women do that, aren't you, do they? <laughs> what? I mean, it's some, sometimes they're uh, women's art. We fought so long to have equality, and then this what woman you, comes on the TV in? and radio. What did you fight in? A war? No. Mm. Well, <laughs> How did you fight? You marched? Wow. Scratching. Yeah. Um, listen, you must come and visit us again when we've got over all the flack. What we'll a brilliant woman. Yeah, very nice. Mm. Thank, Thank you very you. much indeed. Take a, um, a woman. Take a